This here is the iDig 2D laser assistant setup. So we've got this nice little box. That's uh, part of the calibration setup. It goes on your laser tripod. So you got your main screen, which is what you see your bucket and whatnot on. You got your traffic light here, which sits on a mount in the digger. And then it's got green, uh, red, green, orange, I think. And obviously that's your, when you're on height. So that just sits in your digger. And then these are the sensors. So they're solar powered, dust proof, waterproof, and they clip into a handy mount um, on the boom, which I'll show you. And they're made in Hungary. So there's uh, one, two, three, there's five in total, but we've got another one coming for the tilt bucket as well. So that's why you don't see the other one. Um, so yeah, they all have little denotions of where they go on the boom and this one here actually goes in the cab it's got a little plug that uh, connects to the screen um, and yeah that's, that's pretty much it for this the run through rightio so there's three mounts on the boom and dipper this is one here <clears throat> it just sticks on with a, um, a heavy duty 3m tape double sided tape and it's, it's actually quite a good system um, and you've got a little key that pops them on and off so I have the one for the dog bone here so it slots in to these little points here and then it's got a little clip in there and just pops in and then that is stuck on there you can see the um, solar panel there um, I think he said it can last 50 hours in pitch black um, otherwise it's four years before the batteries need changing in here so that's pretty good if you ask me so you've got one there one here one here and then there's one in the cab behind the seat here and then you got your mounts for your screen and your traffic light which I'll get to next alright so we've got all the wireless sensors on the boom the one in the cab so let's turn the digger on Let it boot up. check all the sensors are there and just calibrate itself and so I've already run through this one on this machine but essentially you can calibrate every machine yourself so this this setup can be moved between machines because it's wireless um, so all you need to buy is essentially the new mounts for the boom which are you know, relatively inexpensive 
and then if you want another screen for each machine then you get those otherwise you can just transfer everything over um, so yeah I've set my machine up myself which you run through on the screen um, pretty easy to do so you select that machine which is ZX50U next okay and so because we've just started the mach machine it thinks that this is um, our zero so I can set that as zero so the buckets down there wherever I've touched the bucket and that now becomes my point of reference as I lift the bucket up you can see down here orange and as we come down the lights go down Doo -doo -doo. 100 mil 80 mil 70 mil 6 mil 50 mil and then boom and that is right on height so yeah she's she's pretty easy to set up so um, I don't have my my GoPro mount at the moment but um that off again little button that zeroes it off so that is now our set height and so I can go uh, I want to go 10 centimeters down so now we see on the screen there that's adjusted um, that we're 10 centimeters too high so same time but yeah that, that's essentially how simple it is so you know you don't need someone out on the laser um, you can switch it between machines so you can have different presets on your on your screen for different machines which is different setups um, like I say there is a tilt bucket sensor but I don't have that one yet so that'll actually tell you your height uh, you can set grades single or dual grades um, you can use it with or without a laser um, so at the moment I'm not using a laser all that means is um, each time you move you need to reset um, your bucket on a point of reference so um, before you move you make a spot that you know is the height that you want to dig to and that'll set it there um, otherwise you can set a laser up and then each time you move you're just going to catch the laser with your boom until it zeroes off and um, yeah 